right. Let's move on to our first interview of the morning in the new era of Pat Platform Plus. I'm going to go on and on about that this morning. You get the impression. Um, clearly, we have a problem with youth crime in this country. Uh, the RAM rating, largely, it is believed, committed by youth offenders. Some proportion of the retail crime we've got committed by youth offenders. And we have a problem. And we have a problem that may stem when we look back to the causes of it, the fact that many kids are isolated from society and isolated particularly from the education system. And a good education is one of the building blocks of a successful life in our society. But truancy rates have been going through the roof. We had problems during COVID. And to be honest, there are some dropkick feral parents around who don't care if their kids don't go to school because they didn't either. And they only had their kids so that they could sponge off the state through child support and the like. So how do we get kids? How do we save kids? How do we put the fence at the top of the, of the cliff? And how do we stop the appalling levels of truancy we have in the country? Well, ACT has come up with a plan <coughs> and I'm hearing rumblings that it's not a bad plan. So I thought I'd find out what it is. We are joined now by Chris Bailey, ACT's education spokesperson, who's going to lay it all out for us. Chris, welcome to the platform. Thank you for being with us. Hey, hey, no problem at all. It's great to be here. All right, Chris, lay out Act's plan to combat truancy. Yeah, well, look, Sean, basically, as you said, we've got a huge issue with uh, with truancy, 60% not attending fully, and that's lower for um, for decile one classes. And we just think it's time uh, schools, parents um, and kids all started taking it a lot more seriously and, and really, uh, really got on top of it. Um, we all know that, that you know, like getting out of poverty, education is going to be the, the thing that does that. And yeah, we've come up with a, a few ideas. The, the first, first one I found really interesting is the lack of actual knowledge that we know and, and the lack of um, what the ministry doesn't collect and, and the fact that schools um, can choose to hand their data in, their, their um, truancy or, or absenteeism um, information and so we really don't know the full story. So there's you know, no compulsion to say how many kids didn't turn up at our school today. That's yeah, really it makes it hard to define the problem, doesn't it? And therefore well, find a solution. Well, that's quite right and um, it really surprised us. Um, whether they, uh, the schools just choose not to, uh, the 108 schools just uh, failed to provide information after they were asked um, just, just recently to the ministry and well, we sort of think that that should be nipped in the bud to start with and and make it mandatory for for that, that sort of recording. Okay, so mandatory reporting of truancy. Okay. Absolutely. That, that, that's one. What's the other part of your plan? Because that's not going to solve it on its own, is it? No, that'll, that'll identify how big the problem is. And, and we need a consistency as far as letting what schools... Uh, how schools react to it and empowering schools to deal with it in, in the way that they know best um, we think is the is the best idea um, and because at the moment it is uh, it is just hit and miss some schools do some don't yeah. uh, I, was, I was talking to an intermediate principal two weeks ago who has combined with a primary school next door instead of having a teacher aid in the class they're, they're funding a, a an attendance person to go around the families and, and just find out what's going on, and that, that seems to us to be a pretty sensible, um, sensible solution in, in one way. Uh, but it's it's up to the school, and we we think it should be uh, brought out and uh, much more widely. So truancy officers. So what what impediment is there now to school schools hiring or using their own truancy officers? Well, uh, getting a truancy officer, really funding it, um, all of those those things. There, there's no, just no consistency. Okay. So, it's, what would all... what would Act's proposal be that you you slice out some of the education budget to provide truancy officers for schools? Yeah, yeah. Currently, okay. there's a, a yeah, correct. Okay, truancy officers for schools funded by yeah. the state. Okay, yeah. that's part two of the plan. Um, yeah. Is there any more to it? Yeah, there, there's another another plan, uh, part of the plan is well, we think that um, the truancy rates can be divided into into we're all familiar with traffic lights these days after after yep. the last couple of years and if we if we gauge 
the uh, how truant kids are, how often into into a traffic light system, just to to give uh, the schools and, and parents an idea of of where their child sits. Um, so in a green, in uh, so let's say a green part of the traffic light would be over ninety percent, which is which is okay. Yeah. Uh, Ten to thirty would be an orange. That's that's you know you're getting pretty. Uh, Irregular attendance when you're yeah. 10 to 30 percent. Absolutely. 10 to 30 percent. Over 30 percent. You got a problem. You're in red light. 